talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. All right, we're going to change the subject now. Let's go and have a look at uh, some artificial reefs, the underwater footage. Paul Hamer, we've had him on the show before. Not only is he a snapper scientist, but he's also the man that runs the whole artificial reefs program in Victoria. 18 months ago, they put a whole lot of artificial reefs into some of the estuaries in Gippsland. Let's have a look at them 18 months on. In autumn 2014, Fisheries Victoria deployed a series of artificial reefs in Gippsland Lakes, Lake Tyres and Mallacoota Inlet to provide new opportunities for recreational fishing. These reefs have been constructed from three different module designs of various sizes and complexities and were funded by recreational licence fees and government initiative funding. The reefs are expected to provide great fishing for popular recreational species such as brim, dusky flathead, luderick and trevally. So we're just about to head out and inspect the two reefs that were deployed in Gippsland Lakes, one at Meetung and one at Nungurna. And we're very excited to see how these reefs have developed over the 18 months since they were deployed. So the dive today will be first of all inspecting the, um, the reef structures themselves to make sure they're sitting nicely on the seabed and not too buried. Then we'll be actually doing surveys of the life on the reef. So looking at the types of animals that are actually have colonised the reef structures themselves and also looking at the fish species that we can see as divers. We're going to use two approaches to, to get a, um, a good summary of the fish community down here. One is diver based survey, so visual, actually seeing the fish and the other is using a baited remote underwater video. What we have simply is a video camera in a housing which we'll turn on before we lower it and in front of it we'll put a cage with some pilchards that we'll use for bait. The idea is that we can get fish in close to the camera that are often diver adverse or they'll steer clear of divers and this will give us a chance to actually look at the footage later to see what fish are down there. in here provide homes or other tiny crustaceans which fish feed on. And the other value of mussels is they're, they're great filterers, so they clean the water up around the reef balls themselves. Off the Meetung Boardwalk and Nungurna are located about 40 metres from the shore and are accessible to both boat and land based fishers. The Meetung Boardwalk also provides a great fishing platform, making this reef an even more attractive option for land based anglers. Today we've surveyed all four artificial reefs in Lake Tyres and they are progressing nicely with lots of fish and invertebrate life. All the artificial reefs in the East Gippsland estuaries are situated in four to six metres depth and won't create any navigational hazards. Oh, they're all sitting really well. They're only like buried about 10, 20 centimetres covered in barnacles, but they heavily predated barnacles and brim and everything else has been having a feast down there. So it's brim, 
all size classes, really little baby ones, mid size to some big adults just sitting inside the middle of the reef pole. Two reefs in the bottom lake of Malakuta Inlet are located on the north and south sides of the Goodwood Sands. Recent reports from anglers fishing these reefs indicate catches of dusky flathead, brim and trevally to be common. Our surveys also showed abundant schools of bait fish, crabs and octopus making the reefs their home. Once over the reef locations, the reef modules show clearly on a depth sounder. Good to go. The reef structure is not just about hiding spots, it's about creating more food resources, so increasing the production of fish in this local area. So yeah, we're very happy with the way things look. The balls are sitting nicely on the seabed. Gippsland's estuaries provide great recreational fishing opportunities. But please fish responsibly and enjoy the new fishing experiences offered by these new reefs. For more detailed information on how to locate the reefs and their layouts, please go to the Fisheries Victoria Recreational Fishing Reefs webpage. There you go, boys. I didn't know they were there. Yeah, that, <laughs> that information would have been handy You've a few weeks ago. Plans, well, we went to Lake <laughs> Kai's a few weeks ago. I didn't even know that was there. Yeah. Yeah. I thought anyway, two and a half days. Uh, <laughs> anyway, everyone's uh, now enlightened on those beautiful reefs down at Kipsand Lakes. When you're down there, check them out. They're fishing magnificently. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's fact about fishing that you want to know, then tune in, folks, because this is the show. We'll show you.